Hey guys, how's everyone doing? So today's super exciting. It's been a while. I've been waiting for this for so long and it finally came in. So my Mellow package came in. Woohoo! So Mellow came into contact with me and asked me if I wanted to try out some of their products. So I purchased some of their stuff and I wanted to see how they were. I got a couple of things. I got their Sinopia eyeshadow palette. It's guys. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Look at look at this. It is so pretty. It's look at that blue, man. <gasps> but like like look at that blue. Look at this red-ish color. And don't even tell me about this champagne. <gasps> Look at that. It's oh. And then I got this lip liner, which kind of what got me to getting this lip liner was more than aim, but it's a beautiful color anyway. It's Rose. My uh, mother-in-law's name is Rosemary. So I saw it and I was like, oh, so I got that color and I'm going to do a look and tell you what I think about these products. So before we get into it and before I let you know the deal with this stuff, like this video, also subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get notified of the next videos that come through and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Have you tried Mellow Cosmetics? Um, or is there any other brand that I don't know about that I should try out? Let me know. All right, so let's get on with it. Hey guys, it's Future Kathleen here. I was super excited about the Mellow product. I forgot to mention that there is a link in the description bar below. If you want to go and check their website out and wanted to purchase some of their stuff. All right. All right. So let's get back onto the video. Hey guys, before we start on the eyeshadow look. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Sinopia palette. So it is their second permanent palette that they have in their line. And it is highly pigmented, creamy, easy to blend formula. It includes seven matte shades and five metallic shimmers. It's paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan. Really cool. All right, so let's get started. Let's see how these go on the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna start off by putting on concealer in my eyes. So I'm gonna start off with blushing. Let's see how that looks. Now, there's a little bit of fallout. Let me show you. I just picked it up. There's a little bit of fallout on the pan, but it's not a lot. I've, I've seen worse. So let's try this out. Wow. 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 That went on my lid beautifully. And no offense, but I've seen, wow, I've seen eyeshadows where when you put it on, it kind of gives it a skippy look, even though it's high quality. It gives it like that skippy look, but I'm not getting it with these. Wow, that's crazy. All right, I'm going to zoom you guys in. Just give me a second to blend this. All right, but look at that, guys. Look at that. It's beautiful, beautifully blended. All right, so let me continue on the other eye. Now you see that? Oh. This is so pretty. And usually I have an issue, and it doesn't matter what eyeshadow brush I use. 
I always have an issue sometimes, even when I do blend it in, where I have a little bit of skipping, but I'm not getting that at all. I'm blown away, man. This is crazy. And I haven't tried this. All I've did, done with the, this palette is literally done swatches on my arm. And even that way, it's been blowing me away then. I was kind of scared still to see how this was going to go on my eye. So, wow. All right. So let's go and put nude, nudie. I'm going to put nudie. I'm going to blend that in. Also, again, there's some fallout. I know a lot of you guys like to know about that, but that doesn't bother me, so. But, you know, just to let you guys know. Ooh, 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 okay. Look at that, holy <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting that. You guys, you guys need the tiniest amount to put it on your lid, holy moly. Just need to tap your brush on this, these eyeshadows. But it's looking really pretty, holy, holy moly. Okay, I'm gonna get a flat brush and I'm gonna get Pecan and I'm gonna Put that in my brow bone because it needs some light. Wow. Look. It's doing really good. Look at that. Listen, guys, I'm I'm pretty I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked with the results. I'm already getting, and this is just the beginning of the look. <laughs> Let's get with the shimmers. Let's see how that goes, right? So we are going to get in with, we're going to get in with Birch. And then we're going to do Sam Champagne. And I want to incorporate, ooh, ooh, I want to incorporate some of the Blue Moon so pretty. That would have been so good with my Celine look that I did. I was super hoping that this would have gotten there here on time, but well, because you know, with all the stuff that's going on, it came in a little later than expected, but I'm so happy it's here. <laughs> all right, so let's get Birch. Put that, I'm gonna put that like in the center. Oh. Guys, I'm, 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 do you, do you see that? I'm, I'm baffled. I'm, I'm baffled by this, man. This is, now I want to get champagne. God, champagne, you're beautiful. And I'm going to blend them together. I'm just using my fingers, guys, because... You know, why not? And then I'm going to do that on the other side and then I'm going to smoke it out. All right, so let me get a more precise brush and I'm going to get some dust. Some, some dust. And smudge that. And the lower lash line. And I'm like, look, I'm barely tapping because already from what I learned about these shadows, they're very, very pigmented. It's better to work with a light hand. Than to overdo it. No words, no no words. I, if I continue, it's just gonna be more wows and 
holy moly's <laughs> so but guys this wow <laughs> this is amazing oh my goodness and like let me show you i'm like doing that that's all i'm doing and then i'm slowly lightly brushing that on my lid and then when i feel like it's completely blended out i'm grabbing a tap more all right let's fix this eye because this one i wanted to go whoo so hold up i'll be right back and then i'm gonna do my face and then we're gonna do the lower lash line all right i'll be right back guys all right i'm back i got this face done got my everything done so let's continue on let's grab let's grab a flat brush and i'm gonna grab the palette i'm gonna get blue moon and tap it and then lightly Tap it in and then I'm blending it out. Wow. Look at that. It blended right out, guys. It blended right out. That's awesome. Right, I'm gonna slightly lick the blue up to kind of act like a lower wing. This is these are so pigmented and it's like the smallest amount needed. I mean, I guess for a new beginner, it might not be okay unless you know how to control yourself. If you can control how much you put on, you should be okay. But I guess that's the way you learn, right? So I'm going to get a little bit of the birch color. I know it's kind of metallic, but I'm going to get some of the birch color. Lightly. Blend it with with the blue. And again, guys, like I've said, you need to go light-handed. Take your time with these colors, and you'll get a better result for it. All right, going back with that blue to intensify it a little bit more. All right. Now I just want to help out this outer edge a little. I'm going to get birch again. I mean, birch. I'm going to get blush again. Lightly tap it and then bring out some of that color. All 
All right, and then I'm gonna get my ring finger and I literally tapped and sticking it in my inner corner. This is, this is great. All right, let's get on with them lips. Get on with the lips and we're gonna be using rose. And let me see if there's any anything on these lip, lip, uh, these lip pencils, hold on. So it says, our gel formulated lip liner glides on fluidly and adheres instantly with a matte finish. Define your lips and instant release of rich, saturated color. Long wear and transfer proof. Cruelty free, paraben free, and vegan. All right, so let's try this out. That itch. Now I'll say, it is very easy to blend into your lip. I feel like it's like not as jelly as gel as the wet and wild lip lip liners. The lip those are like a lot more creamier, but this is not bad because it gives you a little bit more control that it's like gel enough but still a little dry that you can like be more in control. And the color is beautiful. Yeah, see, I, I can feel the tacking, like, kind of like, like a, like your lips are stuck together, but not like, not crazy. But look at that. It looks good, guys. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right. So I'm going to put on a gloss. It's layering really nicely. Look at that. It looks so good, guys. It looks so good. <laughs> I'm having the best day. All right, I'm going to spray some setting spray on my face. And we'll talk about my final thoughts. All right, guys, so I am in love with everything. It Everything's great. The blendability was awesome. The pigmentation was ridiculous. Just need to have a light hand with it. But once you get the hang of how these work, they are great. The lip liner was great. It had the right amount of of softness but still enough pull so that you can control how you put on your lip liner. I can't wait to get more products from this from this brand. Mellow, oh my god, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. But I hope you like this video. I hope you want to see more from me. If you want to have any more looks on this palette, let me know. Comment down below, comment anything you have to ask me or want to comment and let me know what you think about this product. Uh, like this video so that I can know that you want to make, want me to make more and subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get notified that I'm making more videos. I would love to see more of you guys here. All right, so you guys have a nice day. Thank you so much, and thank you, Mellow. You guys are doing great, and you have a nice day, guys.